villagers from the small communities of Santa Cruz and Silkgrass are trying to get the attention of their leaders in government. Each community has different concerns over one precious commodity, land. In Santa Cruz, where there is a duly elected village council, residents are concerned about a surveyor who has shown up and is surveying lands allocated for public use, supposedly on instructions from the Ministry of Natural Resources. The commissioner told us that he will suspend the survey. So when they went back to the community, they saw the surveyor there again, so they told the surveyor that Monday we just came from the commissioner and we hear that this thing has been suspended. Well, he said he had got no directive from the, from the commissioner, so he decided to continue the survey. Anyhow, the following day, apparently, the commissioner called him and asked him to cease and desist from surveying. But lo and behold, we thought everything was finished when one week after, the caretaker, Melvin Hulse, went on Plus TV and said that he will pursue with the survey of a certain portion of the green area. And the purpose of the survey is to provide a lot for the health center, I mean, a lot for the fire station and a lot for a library and also three parcels that will be sold commercially. Under our Village Council Act, each village has a right to constitute itself into a lots committee and for it to the minister for approval. No lot in any community should be issued without the consent of the elected village council. The villagers are awaiting the intervention of the commissioner while the survey continues. In Silkgrass, the issue is more critical. Just before elections, 161 lots were leased to residents. Government changed, and since then, those residents have allegedly been unable to make payment on those parcels because they are told they weren't registered. From 2007 until now, they keep going back and forth to the land department to try to pay the rent because they want to build their houses. But now they are more critical because coming January of next year, their lease is going to be expired. So they are fearful that if their lease expired, then they will not be able to release or it will be given to somebody else. If you interview the chairman of Silgrass, he will tell you right now, there are people who is living in this site who have title, who have title to those same lots who are not the original leaseholder. But if the land department does not have anything in the, in the system, how come another individual can go and get a title on a particular piece of land in that particular portion of land. The people uh, try to go in and, and pay the leases and they can't pay the leases. In 2008, we have um, some lot that this was distributed. It's uh, over 160 lots. And um, when the people they go in to make payments for the, for the land, they can't pay. And if you can count from 2008 until 2013, 14 where we are right now, um, the, the grace period is, is near, it's about five months away to let the lease get expired. And so that's a, a concern for my villagers then, that the um, land could get cancelled because they can't go in and, and pay for the leases. According to Ferguson, the commissioner has assured him that the matter has been resolved, but there is still no visible sign of any resolution. The people are afraid that they will lose their parcels of land. I am from Silgrass. I am one of them that has the land. I only make the foundation, but I can't continue because they say they are taking the land from we because we know the pay, but we won't go pay, but then the um, they land not, a, not register in the system. So you all already gone to land, already gone try pay? Yeah, but more than 10 times, the, like from 2008, and we done that 2014, and I know they do nothing to try help with. I think they should listen to the people because these people are legal, the land gets surveyed legal, they have their, their documents, and I think they should listen to the people of Belize. I think they should. Mr. Melvin Hull said that um, who blew the not register, and then that about 161 lands where they back there and a lot of people they build their house and some we stop because then they said they take it away from we. So you start your build your foundation but then you stop? Foundation and I not continue yet because they said they take it from we and then they wait to make the, um, the lease ex expire and then they will try to give it to somebody else. There are other concerns from residents. In Santa Cruz, a community of more than 1,000 residents, there is no school. Children have to travel miles on the road to surrounding communities, and it is dangerous. Today, the voices of these villagers from both communities were heard. Only time will tell if anybody really listened. Mike Rodon for News 5.